Where's my roommate? What are you doing? I'm getting dressed. For what? I have a job interview at the Gap today. Job interview? But you're a superhero, you're my sidekick. Crime fighting doesn't pay the bills anymore. Yeah, it does. Dude, you're almost 30. When are you gonna grow up? But who's gonna be my partner? She's gonna have to go solo for a while. You don't have a partner anymore. Don't leave me. You don't even do the voice anymore. No one can understand me when I do the voice. Come on. Do the voice. Just once, please. Walk the dog. Big Dipper gonna do? Big Dipper ain't got no partner. Big Dipper ain't got nobody to fight crime with. <coughs> Big Dipper. Sad. Hey, what are you doing? Just waiting for my chance. I knew if I waited and wished hard enough, would I be your partner? Oh, little spoon. It's still it's a little different. <laughs> I'm overqualified. I have references. I know all your moves, and I'm housebroken. So you know all my moves? All right. First step. Here you go. From the big dipper, if you want to be the little dipper, you got to dip. Here you go. What in town nations was that? I'm going to give you one more chance. One more chance, little spoon. It's the little dipper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, take that. You pour it in your mouth. Yeah, just like that. Alright, you take another one and you pull that one in the mouth. There you go. And another one. And put it in your mouth. Yeah, and no what? I don't have any more room. And another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another one. Put it in your mouth. Oh! That's all of them. Now hold it. How do you feel? No problem, I got this. Now you don't look so good. Are you sure you feel alright? No, I feel okay. Really, I do. I are you sure? Go. That was pretty gross. But you passed the test. Yeah! Come on, little spoon. Let's go fight some crime. It's the little dipper. Chance to mess up a little bit.
I didn't get the job. Why not? I don't know, man. I don't want to talk about it. What'd you do today? The spoon got killed. A little sp I thought it was a little dipper. <laughs> so, why did you get that job? I said, I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> you did divorce. <laughs> Woo! So, uh, why don't you, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I feel like it's not really who I am underneath, but what I'll do that defines me. So, did you, uh, describe a situation where, uh, you had a conflict with a former, uh, co-worker and how you, how you dealt with that, how you resolved it? Well, I'm glad you asked me that because, uh, Normally I work alone, uh, I'm kind of a lone wolf type, you know, don't really get along well with others, so uh, as long as I'm left to my devices to, to kind of take care of things the way I see fit, uh, that's, that's when I feel like I really shine. What, what happened with your last job? Well, it, it was not really going in the direction that I wanted. Um, I was having to make a lot of personal sacrifices to... Uh, to be able to stay in the position, and uh, you know, it, it was just really started to take a psychological toll. Uh, it was a pretty dark place. Can we uh, can we change the subject? Okay, so uh, if you had to pick five words to describe yourself, uh, what would those be? All right. Well, um, you know, thanks for coming in. Uh, we have, you know, a few other applicants, a few other interviews, but uh, we'll let you know. So, did I get the job? Well, like I said, uh, you know, there were some some other people. Did I get the job? Did I get the job? Answer me! <laughs> I think it's...